Geometrical patterns play a special role in certain cultures. One such example is the culture of Islam, which through centuries has produced magnificent examples of geometric art. Within the obvious order of these geometrical patterns is a mathematical principle. Geometric patterns are governed by pure mathematical principles and as such are religious expressions. Islam views nature as ordered and that order reveals the divine. hidden order of natural phenomena, mathematics became one of man's chief instruments in exploration of the world. The study of plant structures and forms as well as rock formations, and stars was of particular interest. Observation of natural forms was based on geometry, symmetry, and order. A single dot symbolizes zero or one, while within limits, patterns of dots symbolize other numbers. Dots can be ordered, aligned, and connected in infinite combinations. From this ordering came geometry. The Vedic square is based on the multiplication square. Numbers one through nine on the horizontal and vertical axis are multiplied together and reduced to single digit numbers. This was a primary method for deriving patterns by connecting like numbers. Geometrical forms based on mathematical principles created symbols which were recognized and used by man in most cultures. The structure of many geometrical patterns is governed by the use of numbers and their permutations and combinations. The square symbolizes earth and man. It is also the symbol of stability and completion. It represents the four elements, light, air, water, and earth. The square is a basis for orientation. 
It is the base for construction of the dome, a grid for many patterns, and mother of other geometric shapes. The square, triangle, and hexagon are the three regular polygons that cover a plane surface. These are the only three regular lattices possible. Respectively, there are right angles, diagonals, and circular direction. The circle is the most direct geometric symbol. It is absolute, unity, and infinity. Circular patterns are often used to depict abstract flowers, which symbolize nature's beauty. Arabesque design is a stylized recreation of nature. Nature is based on rhythms, and arabesque art is rhythmic in concept. The art of arabesque deals with time and the infinite rhythms created by the encounter of living objects with space within definite boundaries. Arabesque motifs were based on exact mathematical concepts and exact repetition. These motifs do not fill the total surface, but act as forms in space, set in relief against passive backgrounds. The arabesques generated endless circular patterns moving in single and multiple planes. The word of God came to Islam through the Quran. <laughs> Arabic language and calligraphy constitute the most sacred art of Islam. The written word plays an important role in Islamic art, more so than in any other culture. Calligraphy is the visual body of divine revelation, sacred in both form and content. Arabic is a language of great flexibility, fluidity, and fineness of structure. Arabic calligraphy is composed of horizontal and vertical strokes. As with the art of the arabesque, calligraphy also deals with time and infinite rhythm. Calligraphy has a wide variety of usages with a wide variety of styles. The word for God, Allah, is here repeated to cover the whole body of a monument. A word repeated becomes a logo. It can form a band around a dome, border a door frame, or cover arches. Persia is located on a high plateau. Wherever one looks, mountains are to be seen. This high altitude and arid climate
make the sky crystalline blue. The ever-changing colors of the mountains, along with the intensely blue sky, create an appreciation of color and its use in all the arts, from building tiles, and carpets to Persian miniatures. Light itself plays an important role in Persian culture and especially in its art and architecture. Light, symbolically viewed as white, descends from the sun and symbolizes unity. Black is in absolute contrast to white as shadow to light. Black is the mystery of being and the color of the divine. Sandalwood is the color of earth and symbolizes man and his earthly existence. As the earth supports nature and its colors, sandalwood supports black and white and other colors. Between white and black and sandalwood, there is a system of four colors. The primary colors in Islamic art are red, yellow, blue, and green. They correspond to the four qualities of the universe and to the four elements of nature. Red is fire. Yellow is air. Blue represents cold. Green is viewed in Islam as the superior of the four colors because it embodies all of the others. Green is hope, fertility, and eternity. The colors are used with awareness of symbolic meaning, and at the same time with an awareness of the intense hot rays of the sun, which can fade some colors in short time. Blue is prominent because it resists fading. Islamic architecture places great emphasis upon surfaces, since Islamic thought rejects any notion of a void in nature. Consequently, all buildings, as well as other objects, are densely decorated. The patterns on the dome are as varied as the dome's shape. There are organic and inorganic forms implied and expressed on the outer surface of the Islamic dome. Both geometric and arabesque designs are used. The surfaces are given depth through the use of two-dimensional patterns. The resulting volume gives further dimension of scale by the use of illusion. Yellow and orange are often used as colors for interior patterns. Extensive use of mirror work reflects the importance of light. The circular patterns express a continuum of movement and often are used on the vault of the dome. Most of these patterns are repeated in many varieties of forms on many different materials. There 
is no such thing as fine art in Islamic culture. All art is an embellishment of useful, functional objects. These patterns appear on large monuments as well as on the smallest objects. Islamic art has become a part of the Persian tradition. Through the centuries, Persian culture has been shaped by ancient traditions which continue to live today in the art of the Persian people. Thank <laughs> you. 